You have some concerns about the way China deals with U.S. intellectual property. Do you think the president is taking the right step? Well, two points. Um, first of all, I think we definitely have to stand up to China. Uh, China is very clever. Um, they'll one step at a time tighten up their protectionism, maybe more subsidies for some of their core industries. And it's, it's very subtle, but they keep at it. We have to push back. We have not pushed back enough, in my judgment. Number two, uh, these actions, these trade actions, should not be tied to our efforts in North Korea. They're two entirely separate U.S. interests. And if we say, okay, we'll back off on trade, if you're good with us uh, on North Korea, uh, that's going to hurt us. They're, obviously on trade, but we have to stand up and keep moving forward in a very solid way. So uh, it makes perfect sense, Ambassador, but I want to actually put up something that the president said over the weekend that in fact explicitly tied North Korea with trade. Let's take a look at that. We lose hundreds of billions of dollars a year on trade with China. They know how I feel. It's not going to continue like that. But if China helps us, I feel a lot differently toward trade, a lot differently toward trade. So there you have it, Ambassador. Uh, the president is saying if they help us on North Korea, he'll feel very differently. I take it that you think that that is a mistake in dealing with the Chinese. I, I do. I think that's a big mistake. Um, rather, I think we should push back just on the trade measures as they are. Uh, that China will respect us if we do. I think to some degree, uh, since we've been a bit lenient, uh, China has been a, a bit disrespectful of us on, on trade. I found, too, that the Chinese very much res respect candor. They like straight talk. You stand up to them, they'll, they'll back off. They'll squawk, they'll scream, <laughs> they'll complain, but um, by and large, they'll back off. Uh, so, so uh, Ambassador, dealing with the North Korea issue, not the trade issue now, keeping them separate to some extent, what are the prospects of our really getting China to, uh, to go along with us in really bringing pressure bear on North Korea? Uh, we have to uh, put ourselves in the shoes of, of China. Um, that's extremely important. China sees North Korea as an irritant, but China does not want um, uh, uh, the Korean Peninsula be uh, dislocated or, uh, or, or, or fall apart. Um, they don't want uh, refugees coming over, and they clearly don't want the U.S. and South Korea to have a greater influence um, there in, um, in the peninsula. Frankly, I, I think China is a key to this, but the key to China is for the United States to exercise um, leadership and to privately talk to China, China and say, okay, what can we do with this nutcase across the border over there in North Korea? How do we resolve this together? Because China wants stability just as much as we do. China does not want a nuclear North Korea, but my judgment is they want stability more than do they want a non-nuclear North Korea.